All right, so we're going to cover algorithms today. So what are two types or categories of dose algorithms? When do correction-based approaches fail? Describe the differences between point or pencil kernels. How does conv uh, collapse cone convolution work? And how does trip away work? So one thing you can always do in your exam, thankfully, some of the questions kind of answer themselves. So what are the two types or categories of dose algorithms? Then the next question is, well, how do correction-based approaches or when do those fail? That clues you into, okay, well, one of the categories is probably going to be correction-based then. I did this in my exam, and it's something that you certainly can do. Sometimes when they ask a general question and then dive deeper, it tells you the answer to the first question, which is really nice. Strongly encourage you to have the frame of mind to utilize that if you don't immediately know the answer. So in fact, we do have correction-based categories and algorithms, and we have model-based algorithms. So the correction-based are the most simple forms. Essentially, you're going to calculate the dose to uniform water and then multiply that number by a correction factor to determine the dose. Whereas model-based directly calculates the dose to the medium and that uses kernels, typically pencil kernels or point kernels. So when do these correction-based approaches fail? So we mentioned they, they aren't as accurate and they're much more simple, right? They're fast, but they're simple. And so it has limitations. And one of those are the limitations of small fields because this cannot take into account effects of variable scatter. So for example, when lateral charge particle equilibrium isn't attained, there's just no way for these correction-based approaches to accommodate that. And so you lose accuracy, whereas model-based are much better in small fields and more complex heterogeneities. So describe the difference between point and pencil kernels. So the point, we'll start with point kernels. So these are a point by point dose results from Monte Carlo for each site. This takes a, takes a decent amount of time, but it is very accurate. You do this for every single voxel and then you sum those together. And to account for inhomogeneities, you scale the kernel and that really allows you to have a very accurate a little slower than a pencil kernel, but very accurate and not quite as slow as Monte Carlo, not quite as accurate, but a very nice trade-off. Now, pencil kernels, that considers a photon that is incident on a medium, and it sums that throughout the medium for the final dose. So it can't handle back or side scatter very well. Forward scatter, it does, does okay. But as I mentioned, it is faster. It's still accurate. It's not as accurate as Point Kernel or Monte Carlo, but it's also much faster than those. And so, again, there's a trade-off. And then when we talk about AAA here, that uses a pencil kernel, but it adds some additions to make it more, just to make it more accurate. So now, collapse cone convolution, a CCC here, this ignores multiple scattering events that speed up the calculation. So remember, this isn't as accurate as Monte Carlo is, but Monte Carlo takes a very long time and probably in most cases isn't clinically viable because it takes so long. So somewhere you have to sacrifice accuracy to speed up the calculation, and that is how collapse cone convolution does it. It ignores the multiple scattering events. Now, it does use point kernels. So as we discussed before, those are highly accurate, and those are radially symmetric cones, ultimately is what it's determining and, and finding, but then it collapses though that cone on itself. And so it has great accuracy, it's very fast, and typically it's used by the Pinnacle Treatment Planning System. So not as good as Monte Carlo, but it's much faster and it still has very good accuracy. Now, the AAA algorithm, it is a 3D pencil beam convolution superposition using Monte Carlo kernels. So as I mentioned, pencil kernel in itself isn't as accurate as point kernel, but then this algorithm with that 3D pencil beam and the additions of the Monte Carlo kernels, it can not only be faster, but it's still very accurate. Again, not as good as Monte Carlo, but it's 
still very accurate and is also uh, clinically much faster. And so you use three different beam components when you're considering trip away. And we have covered this in another video, but I will cover it here uh, very, very briefly again. So the first thing is the primary photon source. So that means the bremsstrahlung from the targets, not the head, but specifically from the target. That is your primary photon source. And then we have our extra focal photon fluence. And that is simply the photons that come from the head. And then finally, we have our electron contamination, which is from electrons that are made from interactions within the head or any of the beam modifiers. So that is a very brief rundown of model-based and correction-based approaches. Definitely know the difference of those, know how they work and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each one. And then again, cover all the algorithms you use in your clinic and know how they work, why you use those, and have an understanding of the ones that you don't use. Just a brief understanding to be able to talk about them. You don't need to go into too much detail, but that's definitely will serve you well in your clinical exam. So if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for watching and happy studying.